Ashley, where I help you perfect your skincare needs. Today we're going to be talking about Neutrogena products, specifically products that are aimed at people with oily and acne prone skin. And I'm going to be doing a comparison of two of their ranges. So if that sounds of interest to you, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see further content, please make sure you subscribe and uh, let's get started then. So Neutrogena is um, a brand that a lot of their products are targeted at people who've got problems with their skin, predominantly oily and acne prone skin, and their products are actually developed with dermatologists. So um, I've got two ranges to talk about, the oil balancing range and the clear and defend. So I've got a face wash um, for both ranges and a face mask for both ranges as well. Now the first product I'm going to talk about is this uh, oil balancing facial wash with lime and aloe vera. Now lime does have very little benefits for the skin. Nevertheless, I still think it's nice in this product. It gives it a gorgeous smell, uh, which is very nice and very refreshing. Um, the aloe vera is a humectant, so that's going to help draw in moisture into your skin. It's also got soothing properties and antioxidants in as well. So definitely a great ingredient. You know, although it says that it's oil balancing and it's uh, meant to leave your skin mattified, it definitely does not overly dry your skin. Uh, um, obviously, I don't think it's a product for someone who's got dry skin anyway. If you've got normal skin, I think you probably find it a little bit much to use, even every night, maybe every night you could cope with. If you've got oily skin, perfect for every night. I personally like to use a different cleanser in the morning and a different cleanser at night, just because throughout the day you've been busy, you've gone out, you might have been sweating, you've done a lot, you know, you've been in the environment. Um, at night time, what you're doing, you're in your bed, you're sleeping. So I don't think in the morning you need that same level of like cleanliness um, to clean your face. But overall, I think this is nice. It smells really nice and it leaves your skin kind of like, it doesn't leave a layer on your skin, but it feels like your skin hasn't been like stripped, if that makes sense. It does a fantastic job at cleaning, even makeup as well. I definitely do think if you haven't got, you know, overly thick layer of makeup, um, I think that's definitely all right to use as a one cleanser. So you just go in twice to get off your makeup fully. Um, you know, I think compared to a lot of cleansers, it does do a very good job. So overall, I do like that. And now I'm going to compare it to the next product, which is the clear and defend a facial wash which they say is clinically proven um, for spot prone skin again both of these products are oil free this one however is definitely drying on the skin it's definitely more drying than that one even me who you know i don't particularly have dry skin um i find that using this it's making my skin you know quite dry so i definitely don't think this is a cleanser you would want to use often at all so if you're not going to use it often at all you might as well not purchase it i definitely think unless it's the middle of the summer or you're in a really hot climate and you're sweating a lot i definitely don't think this is one anyone would want to use every day particularly morning and night it does have humectant, so it has glycerin and it has panthenol. I don't know if you can necessarily feel the humectant in it. Um, to be honest, it's, it's it's very, very drying. I'm not even exaggerating. And it also has salicylic acid. So salicylic acid is absolutely fantastic because that's going to penetrate deep, deep into your pores. It's going to get rid of excess sebum. I still don't think that's the reason why it's overly drying. I don't know. Um... I just, I, I, I'm not that much for the products, to be honest. So if it was a choice out of these two, I definitely think this one is a winner over this. But we haven't finished with the range yet, so let's carry on. So now we're going to talk about the face masks. So the face mask I'm going to talk about is the oil balancing in shower mask. Right, so this is like a creamy consistency and it does have a very, very, very fine little 
um, beads in it, like exfoliating um, beads in it. And the knot, it's not a lot because I've used products before where it's um, got like tiny exfoliating particles like that. But there seems to be like a lot, so it ends up feeling like you literally got like put loads of sand in your hands and you're just rubbing that on your skin. I don't find that with this. Um, I really like this, to be honest, even though it's got the exfoliating beads, it does say use twice a week. So it's not, you know, telling you to use it every day like a lot of scrubs. And I wouldn't even, I don't know, if this is a scrub, it's certainly a mild scrub. So what you do with it is you put it you put it on wet skin when you're in the shower you leave it for like a minute and then you just rinse it off it leaves my skin feeling so soft so nice and i think it's a nice little you know thing just to have a mask that you can use in the shower i personally love to use a face mask every day so it's very rare i would go a day and not use a face mask even, even if it's just a minute one I like to take a little bit of time to add, add a little bit of extra goodness. Now this, like the cleanser, has got lime in it as well. Um, and it's got glycolic acid. So um, glycolic acid is an AHA. So it's going to help just break down the dead skin cells on the top layer of your skin. And just give your skin a little bit of an exfoliation. It's also got clay in it as well. So clay is going to help um, just absorb in that extra... The um, sebum from your pores is just going to help with the exfoliation. So I think that's one of the reasons why my skin just feels absolutely um, lovely when I use it because it's got the physical exfoliation. It's also got the glycolic acid, which is going to help break down, you know, any dead skin cells on your top layer of your skin. And then it's got the clay just to help absorb moisture out of your skin. Overall, I definitely do like that mask. I think it's lovely, to be honest. Now, the next mask I'm going to talk about and the final product, and then I'll just let you know my thoughts of the two different ranges and uh, hopefully give you an idea of what you want to go for if you do want to purchase. Now, this is the Clear and Defend Wash Off Mask, which, um, again, for spot-prone skin. Now, this mask is another one I like, but, you know, I'm a little bit obsessed with face masks, so maybe that's a little bit of the reason. But I like this mask, almost everything, which I'll say, first of all, I'll start off with the positives, and then we'll go into the negative. So what I like about this mask is it's got salicylic acid and lactic acid, so it's got an AHA and a BHA. So um, salicylic acid is actually oil soluble, so it's going to get deep into your pores, it's going to help swish out all that excess sebum, just clear your pores out. And then it's got the lactic acid, which is an AHA, so that's going to be um, working on the top layer of your skin, breaking down dead skin cells. It's also not um, excessively harsh on your skin. So overall, both of them, I think that's a great thing. And it's got the Kaolin clay in as well, so that's going to help with the aid of the salicylic acid, just bringing out the excess sebum from your skin. Um, I think it does do a lovely job, it's, you know, breaking down dead skin cells. And it also says that you can use it as a wash and a mask. Now, I've tried it as a wash-off treatment and I was actually pleasantly surprised. I thought, really, it's got clay, it's not, I don't know, to me, um... I just, I've, I've only used a clay wash before once and I definitely was not a fan of that. Um, that's one of the L'Oreal Pure Clay Washes. Not a fan, not a fan. Um, so I was quite surprised with this. I thought, is it going to do that much of a great job at taking off makeup? Yes, it did. For a cleanser, it did a really good job at taking off makeup. Um, sorry, I mean for like a... You know, not a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil. Really good job at taking off makeup. Um, I think it does leave your skin quite smooth. I actually prefer to use it, though, as a mask rather than a wash-off treatment as a wash. Just because I've got loads of cleansers. Um, I also, you know, aren't that particularly interested in using, like, a clay formula or a product with clay in to wash off my makeup, I'd, I'd rather use that um, in a mask formula, and I am obsessed with face masks anyway, so obviously 
I'm going to want to use as many face masks as I can. I'm joking. I'm joking. But no, um, I do, you know, prefer to use it as a face mask. But as a face wash, I think it's okay as well. I don't think it's going to be as... I'm, I don't know, to be honest. Um, I think... I'm not sure, but I think this might be more drying as a face wash. I'm not too sure. Um, this is a face mask. It doesn't feel drying. Um, you know, it feels quite nice on the skin. Obviously, I haven't gone in and used it every single day, but I'm really liking this. It's also got menthol as well. So menthol is uh, used as a fragrance ingredient. Some people might have a little bit of sensitivity issues with menthol all these products have fragrance anyway so you know if fragrance wasn't an it it was a problem for you you know you're not going to pick up these products anyway now let's just talk about what i don't like about this product because this mask i will use it again uh, i might buy it again in the future the only thing i don't like about this is every single time i use it it stings my face it it really does i don't think it carries on for a long period of time but definitely you know when you put it on after for the first couple of minutes it definitely does sting my face you can feel like a little bit of tingling but not in the way that i like it i like a refreshing feel i like a little bit of oomph of getting in and doing my work but this is just a little bit uncomfortable so that's the only issue I have with it. But with the results, I think it's worth it. I just don't think this is more like a, I need to fix my face. I need to get rid of these spots. I need to, you know what I mean? But it's not a pampering like, oh, I need to have a lovely feel and just a chill out. Just go back and, you know, so it depends what you're going for. I like to switch it up. I like to have a little bit of everything and obviously... If I've got oily skin, I've got spots on my face, I want to get rid of that. So, let's talk about my overall thoughts. Which one do I prefer? Okay, okay, this is this is kind of easy. I think I know where I'm going with it. If I was going to say range, which one, just based on these um, two products from each of the range that I've spoken about, then I definitely say the oil balancing range is a thumbs up from me. This is worth a try if you are talking about this range this not good for most people i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend that don't buy that if you're not bothered about you know a little bit of stinging or whatever maybe it wouldn't even sting you i don't know this one is a decent one to pick these three are lovelies these three are lovelies now i don't know the best things from the range to me are the masks just because i feel like the cleansers nothing i've seen before fair enough i do really like that oil balancing cleanser but i'm not addicted to cleansers like i am face masks what literally went wrong with me like did i just like discover face masks like 15 years ago and become obsessed i don't know because it seems like I've been kind of obsessed with face masks for a long time. More so now that I'm getting older and my skin's getting worse. But nevertheless, absolutely gorgeous. And I've basically spoken about everything I want to talk about. It's been absolutely lovely to see you guys once again or to speak to you guys once again. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you have too. And if you have, please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more of my content make sure you subscribe and lovelies until next time you know what to do keep looking after your skin